So for this experiment, we will need some boiled water, we will need gum, and we will need a short soda bottle. To start, you're going to want to put some water into a pot. And you're going to want to put it on the stove. As you give the water time to boil, take a piece of gum, open it of course, and chew it thoroughly. Once the gum is soft, remove it from your mouth and flatten it between your fingers. This will be used as a thin cap to cover the bottle's opening. Now you're going to want to take the boiled water and fill very carefully. Fill the short bottle up to the very top. Just so it's touching the very tip of the bottle. And then you're going to want to take the gum and place it right on the top. And already you can see that holes, holes are forming inside of the gum and what this shows is that the bottle right here this bottle represents the world or the earth the water inside of it represents the harmful CFCs and the gum itself represents the ozone layer. The holes are forming. And this is exactly what happens in the ozone layer. The more water there is in the bottle, or the more CFCs there are in the earth, the more the ozone layer begins to form larger holes. Now we can repeat the experiment to show that if there is less water or CFCs in the earth, then there will be smaller holes in the ozone layer, or the gum. And we will do that right now. Just repeat the experiment. Boil some water, chew some gum in the meantime, and when it's soft, begin to flatten it, which I have already done, to flatten. And once the water is done boiling, then we will repeat the experiment with less water, maybe half a bottle of water. So once the water boils for a second time, as it's obviously boiling, you can remove it from the heat and carefully repeat the process. 
This time, we only want to fill the bottle about halfway. That should be good. See? It's approximately halfway. And do the same with the gum. Take the gum. It's extremely sticky. And cover the top. As you can see, the holes aren't being produced as fast. However, the gum is melting still on the sides. And the holes are beginning to form right along the middle. There you go. As you can see, right about there, there's little holes forming, which shows that the CFCs, even if they're minimal, they still do play an impact on the ozone layer. However, the process has slowed. And action. As fun as it was conducting this experiment, it is time to say goodbye. Goodbye.